if it can be done and, and with an objective advisor that can provide that third party perspective, that can add a lot to the to the ability of the parent and and children's generation to work well together, to understand each other better, because sometimes that's a tough, tough road to hoe. Many business owners feel it is very personal to them and therefore it is something that they should be doing alone, making the decisions alone, structuring it alone. Unfortunately, when they don't consult their lawyer and their accountant, they don't understand the full tax implications, gifting implications, how the deal should be structured, and it's very important that they understand that because the more details that are pushed off to the very end of the deal can cause a deal to fall apart. Sometimes it's, uh, it's prudent to consider asset protection uh, as an element. Um, people with wealth need to protect that wealth. And that's equally true for business owners as it is for anyone else. And so often we use a, a trust mechanism as a tool to go ahead and achieve this kind of asset protection. And typically that entails utilizing an irrevocable trust as a, as a holder, if you will, of assets. So I think of a trust as a box, and that's what I say to clients. Think of a trust as just a box where you put things in and take things out. And so if we create a box and we have a, a, the opportunity to transfer some or all of the business stock to the box, what we can do is have the next generation who's actively engaged in the company be a trustee or, or trustees, meaning that they're in charge managing the box and, and the asset that's in there. On an intra-family basis, it's, a, it's often a composed of an earnout because uh, children don't usually have an ability to write a check and buy the business from their parents. That's typically not, not the case. And in fact, it's not the case most likely in, in, in a lot of the other uh, business continuity plans with management teams or any kind of an internal buyout. But again, whether it's ch child or children uh, or not. The earnout is going to be over a period of time and the, the buyer is going to be relying on the success of the company, the continued success of the company, to generate uh, free cash flow to go ahead and buy out the parent. It's got to be negotiated in a, in a length of time that saves what I, what I call the, uh, the golden goose. The business is a golden goose and essentially it lays golden eggs every year. And, and the goal is that the family continues to enjoy and harvest the eggs uh, because that's uh, what, what continues the lifestyle of the family.